it's tough to compare the Batman movies with a movie this bad. I mean, I feel like we were on a downward spiral. Mm-hmm. Batman just isn't the actor. It's also the script, the lighting, the tone, the sets. Batman is more than just the actor. Mm-hmm. Even though it's hard to compare the actors and the Batmans, it's, it's not Batman, right? It's Batmans because many Batmans. Batman. Can't be Batman because they'd all be there together. It has to be Batmans. Batmans. We're going to try to do it. We're going to try to compare them. We're going to put them in a list next to each other. We're going to we're going to scrutinize them. We're going to look at them. We're going to poke them, test them. Out of all three so far, Michael Keaton, Val Kilmer, and George Clooney, who looked like the best Batman? Use whatever non-scientific factors you want. Build, looks, facial expressions, breath, hair gel, whatever. You can make whatever generalization that you want. Yeah. Comparison that you want. Who was the best Batman? I think out of these three so far, I picked Val Kilmer. Ooh. Is the best. Wow. And I thought that Clooney was probably going to be better, but I just can't get past this movie and his lines and I just couldn't get past it. Okay. So you, you can't, even when you disregard the lines, Val Kilmer's better. I still think he's better. Okay. I think he looks more like Batman. I think George Clooney does look pretty good when he wears the suit. And I think that the suit might look a little bit, like a little bit more modernized. Maybe just a little bit. Because, Mm -hmm. I mean, these movies are only shot a couple years apart. True, true. They don't look too different to me. I don't know. I still think Val Kilmer is the best Batman. Okay. So far. All right. Perfect. I disagree. Who do you pick? Clooney is the best looking Batman so far, without a doubt. Uh I think Keaton was probably the better Batman overall. I just think that the Keaton Batman was so old. And when I think of Batman, like I think of him like. Like he's the suit. Like, yeah. Like, I don't know. I just can't get that out of my head. How he's acting in that really bad suit. The voice and the mannerisms of Keaton were just great. But Clooney had no chance to act with any drama. Yeah. So for the best Batman, I'm going with Keaton. Not as good looking as Clooney. Keaton? But I think the better Batman. I would pick Clooney and then Keaton. That would be my order. Val Kilmer. Yeah. So Keaton's last. Yeah. Okay. All right, now. But I think that's just because the technology and... He's just not, he's just like a little dude too. I don't, like, I don't know how he could be Batman. <laughs> well, I mean, they didn't shoot him like from the top. All right. Now let's do the same thing, but with Bruce Wayne, no rules. You can use any methodology you want. Who's the better Bruce Wayne? I still think Val Kilmer is the better Bruce Wayne. Ooh. I think Clooney is pretty high up there as well. I would pick him second. I just think that. We saw Clooney as Bruce, not that much. Like there was a couple scenes with him and he was usually with his girlfriend and either the girlfriend or or the reporter were pushing marriage on him Mm -hmm. or he was talking to Alfred. There might've been one with uh, Robin and, and that Batgirl, but there wasn't much screen time of him not in his bat suit. Yeah. There wasn't even that much screen time of him in his bat suit. He went to dinner. With Elle McPherson. He went to a ball where Poison Ivy was there. Yeah. He was in the mansion a lot and talking to Alfred. Yeah. For me, Clooney wins this one hands down. Michael Keaton, a.k.a. Mr. Mom, was a terrible Bruce Wayne. Hated it, hated it, hated it. Val Kilmer was better, but in my opinion, Clooney looks rich. Like, you just look at him. You're like, oh, that guy's rich. You don't think Val Kilmer looks rich? No. 
I see Val Kilmer in Top Gun. It ruined it. Uh. <laughs> He's like a, he, he looks more like a military guy to me because of that movie. Like totally typecast. Iceman. I guess I don't have that feel, but maybe we need to go back and watch Top Gun so I can get that feel. Yes. <laughs> yes. Now you're talking. All right. Which Batman movie had the coolest Batman tech? I'm talking suit, Batmobile, Batcave, Batwing, that kind of stuff. I would say Batman Forever has the coolest tech okay. we've seen. Just because I really like the Batmobile, the Batwing, and the Batboat that we saw. All right. Got it. That's pretty much why this movie, I don't think we really saw much tech from Batman. Nothing. He had like that little circular, it looked like a cell phone, but one time it was on the steering wheel when mm-hmm. he was driving and Commissioner Gordon called him, which was really cheesy when you go back and rewatch that. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> and then also he used it to show Mr. Freeze that, you know, Poison Ivy killed Mr. Freeze's wife. And I thought Mr. Freeze has the coolest tech in this movie. Yeah, but you think Batman Forever had the coolest tech of yeah, Batman. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Mr. Freeze in this movie has the Freeze Mobile, the Freeze Gun, the Freeze Suit. I'm just going to call it the Freeze because that's what we call mm-hmm. the Batmobile and the Bat bat Suit. I thought that made the movie cool. Like, he had LEDs or something in his Freeze Suit that glowed. For sure. It was really cool. It was super cool. I thought his Freeze Mobile was coolest. <laughs> cheesy <laughs> it's super cheesy but i liked it <laughs> cheesy for me it was the original batman movie you the think original batmobile yeah with the armor and the little bombs yeah, that drop by the wheels cool. and the way it can like shoot the little harpoon and drive up buildings the jet engine on the back of it i it takes a lot it has of like bat- that little bob and me when it drives down the street <laughs> yeah it takes a lot of bat boats bat wings to equal the coolness of that Uh car like we saw that thing in real life and it was cool it was cool then yeah it has a little plate that comes out like boop for it to turn to go back the other direction like everything about the batmobile in the first movie was thought through and very cool as far as movies go the first batman movie by far the best batman movie so far yeah i think i'm with you on that one too yeah all right I think everyone can agree that Batman and Robin was a terrible movie. The interesting thing is that it's so terrible that it has become like a B movie style nostalgic thing. Not a D movie or an F movie, a B movie. If you accept that this movie is bad, it becomes entertaining. Yeah. One of the most notable things about the movie are the one liners. It's hard to call many of them puns because they're not funny. Yeah. But there are puns mixed in. Let's talk about the good. Let's pull the good out of this stinker. This was hard. (laughs) This was super hard for me. What are your top favorite one-liners? Let's kick some ice. That was good. (laughs) That was good. You're not sending me to the cooler. (laughs) So Mr. Freeze had the best ones for you? Yeah. I don't maybe just because his were so punny. Like and it wasn't like I was like, oh my gosh, that's really funny or really great. But I think the way that Arnold like expresses himself being Mr. Freeze, he delivers you can him. tell that he was enjoying yes. being Mr. Freeze. Arnold dig the dialogue. Mm-hmm. He's like, I can do this. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, I just got oh yeah, I can do this. Yeah. I'll be back. (laughs) You're not taking me to the cooler. (laughs) All right. Mine are, why are all the gorgeous ones homicidal maniacs? Is it me? I really like this one because it's a callback because of Catwoman. Oh, yeah. Right? Yeah. Like Batman always attracts like the evil women villains. He likes the bad girls, maybe. He likes the bad girls. Yeah, this whole movie was so cheesy because Batman and Robin were fighting over Poison Ivy. And it wasn't even like true love. It was like the pheromones pheromones that she was 
blown out into the world and it's just cheesy. My next one is a Mr. Freeze one. And it's when he's aligning the satellites to freeze Gotham City. He says, If revenge is a dish best served cold, then tonight hell freezes over. <laughs> but, oh, that was clever. <laughs> it sounds like something that a villain would say, mm -hmm. even in a serious movie. Right? Think about it like a real serious movie about to flip the switch. And the villain looks over and says, If revenge is a dish best served cold, then tonight hell freezes over. <laughs> All right. Well, that was good. I liked it. All right. What about the cringiest? Well, I picked, I want a car. Chicks dig a car. Chicks do, in fact, dig a car. This is why Superman works alone. Like, he was right in the opening of the movie and they said that and I looked over at Greg and I was like, oh, come on. Like, what are we watching? It's so bad. I had to pick that one. <laughs> I mean, I think everyone digs a car. So it's like, I guess it's a factual statement. Like, but like you need a car. So, you know, and this is why Superman works alone. I mean, it's okay to have a sidekick. I don't believe Superman works alone because Robin wants to continuously drive his car <laughs> <laughs> to pick up girls. Oh, gosh. All right. What else? The line that Poison Ivy says to Batman, there's something about an anatomically correct rubber suit that puts fire in a girl's lips. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I had to pick that just because the bat suit and Robin suit, even Batgirl suit, or so anatomically correct in some ways that they almost need to wear clothes on the outside of their True. Uh, on the outside of their suits like if you think about it why why <laughs> i mean i like a nice body just like everybody else but why <laughs> <laughs> mine was when they were going up in freeze's rocket uh -huh. freeze jumps out and Robin gets in the rocket and he and Batman, by the way, Robin does nothing, gets in the rocket, uh. climbs in. Batman is already dropping the bomb. Robin is absolutely of no value in the rocket. None whatsoever. He gets in the rocket ship and is like, oh, bat bomb, basically. And Batman's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to blow this rocket up so it doesn't crash and, and kill a bunch of people. But that's not the line I'm talking about. They were all those are all bad. But they kick the door out. And Robin yells, surfs up. Oh, and then as they're surfing down, he yells cowabunga. <laughs> I just cringed like. You're 30,000 feet up. You just open the door. The only thing you're going to be yelling is this. Ah! You're not going to be like, surf's up. How did they keep those doors on their feet? It's stupid. The whole thing is stupid. It works, right? That That's real science. No. No. Not, not even a little bit. I was like, great, where'd they get those surfboards? It's like an aluminum door. Like, it's a metal door. If anything, they both fall at the same time. Yeah. Yeah, they fell pretty fast. I don't. There's no way that they would catch up with Mr. Freeze. Like science, don't they do the? Yeah, everybody, the everything, falls everything falls at the, at the same, same speed. speed. Yeah, if anything, the the door is adding a little bit of friction, so they would fall slower. Yeah, probably. Well, and Freeze had the cool suit that has like the freeze wings. Oh yeah. Oh, maybe out. he was going slow then. Maybe he, he like was slowing down. down. When Mister Freeze is being brought into Arkham Asylum, the cops say. You are the common cold, and we are the cure. And then he proceeds to go bash their heads together. Oh. oh my god, it's so bad. I mean, of the movie, we've reduced it down to four funny one-liners or puns, and four terrible ones. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, if you have a favorite one-liner from the movie. Drop it down below in the comments. 
Oh no! I want to hear these. I want to hear them. Oh! If you enjoy the punny ones, put those. If you just like the one-liners that Batman or Robin say, still somewhat punny. Yeah. All right. I want to know because this is a fun topic that you see a lot online. Yeah, for sure. 